today we'll see uh, one example on finding out the circular convolution of two sequences if you are given two sequences and asked to find circular convolution then there are various methods to do so so one of the method of finding circular convolution is by using matrices circular convolution using matrices okay so by uh, with the help of one example we'll solve uh, we'll understand this method so take one example uh, two sequences are given x1 of n is equal to 1 2 2 another sequence x2 of n is equal to 1 2 3 and 4 okay so these two sequences are there and it is asked to find out circular convolution of these two okay so in this method using matrices we form a circulant matrix and another uh, sequence uh, that is given we write in the column form okay so first of all before going to the process uh, procedure we will see that the length of this sequence is 3 length of this sequence is equal to 4 ok so we have to match the length first so we have to make the length of x1 of n is equal to 4 ok so how will we do that x1 of n is equal to the rest of the samples of this sequence are 0 so we will pad 1 0 here Okay, so now the length is equal to 4. Okay, so for this example, capital N is having value 4 because maximum number of samples in any of this is equal to 4. So make N is equal to 4 for each sequence. Okay, if this maximum length was equal to 5, then we need to add two zeros here. Okay, now the length is equal to 4. That's why we have added 1, 0. This is called as 0 padding. Okay. Now, how to form a circulant matrix? So, we will form a circulant matrix C of size N by N. So, in our case, this will become a 4 by 4 matrix. So, how? We will take the sample. Let us see. So, first sample of this X2 of N is x2 of 0 second sample 1 x2 of 2 and x2 of 3 so write this all these samples in column format then shift it by 1 x2 of 0 this sample shifted by 1 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 now this sample will not go out it will circularly shift and come here so x2 of 3 now again we are shifting this this column x2 of 2 x2 of 3 x2 of 0 x2 of 1 and the last one column is x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 and x2 of 0 so this is circular shift for each and every column okay now we will see how the uh, circular convolution is found using this matrix and the other sequence how it is written so final answer comes in terms of a column x3 of 0 okay what is x3 x3 is circular convolution of these two okay so first sample of x x3 of n is x3 of 0 x3 of 1 then x3 of 2 and x3 of 3 so this is calculated with the help of this circulant matrix we we'll write this x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 then x2 of 3 x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 x2 of 0 x2 of 1 
last column x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 x2 of 0 this is the circulant matrix of cells 4 by 4 now the next first sequence here x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 okay so you can now shuffle the sequence you can form circulant matrix by using x1 of n and write x2 of n instead of this x1 of n so you can shuffle the sequence because uh, the circular convolution of x1 of n with x2 of n is equal to circular convolution of x2 of n with x1 of n so you can form circular circulant matrix with any of these two sequences okay yeah. so actually now we will solve the example with this formula okay so x3 of 0 x3 of 1 x3 of 2 x3 of 3 these four samples is equal to will form a circulant matrix with this so x2 of n 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 3 4 1 2 2 3 4 1 okay now the first sequence 1 2 2 0 0 okay <coughs> Now, watching this matrices, now we will uh, do matrix multiplication. That's why we need to match the length here. Okay. <coughs> now, in matrix multiplication, first row multiplied by this column, then second row multiplied by this column, sum of all the samples. Okay. So we'll do that. One plus four into two, eight plus six plus zero, times two. Plus two plus eight plus zero, three. Plus four plus two plus zero, plus one. Four plus six plus four plus zero. Okay. I'll do this. Add this first row. Fifteen. The second one, twelve, nine, and thirteen. So these are the four samples of x three of n, and you can write x three of n like this also. Samples. Fifteen, twelve. Nine and fourteen. Okay, so this is how we find circular convolution using matrices. So here we are doing matrix multiplication. That's why the answer comes very fast, and this is very easy method.